Tis the Caesar Salon. Caesar, 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 Caesar Salon. Caesar Salon. Caesar Salon. Hi friends! Today I'm here with my TBR for the Tis the Season-a-thon. Tis the Season-a-thon is a readathon, obviously, that runs from December 2nd through December 8th. I didn't write the host's name down because I'm a loser, but I will link their video in the description box below if you want to check that out. I realize that tomorrow is the 2nd, so like, you kind of have to be... I'm behind, okay? Sue me. I'm sure if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I am behind, but I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, let's get to a page that actually has the prompts on it. All right, so the first challenge is to read a book with snow on the cover. And for that, I chose 12 Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. This is a follow-up to Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which I read last year during his season of thon, so figured I might as well read this one during this year's. The next challenge is to read a holiday themed book and for that I chose My New Crush Gave to Me by Shani Petroff. Uh, this is a book that I chose last year to read for the Tis of Season of Thought and never got around to so here it is. Um, this book follows a girl who is trying to get the attention of like the most popular boy in school who doesn't really know that she exists and to do that she rigs a secret Santa and she's trying to buy him like the perfect gift. Unfortunately she doesn't know him well enough to buy him the perfect gift so she enlists his ridiculously annoying cousin to help her do that and yet in the process kind of starts to fall in love with the cousin rather than the guy that she's supposed to be buying a gift for. One of those. The next challenge is to read a book that you were gifted and quite honestly if you've been here before, you know that I have 200 unread books. And at this point, I've kind of lost track of what I've bought and what has been bought for me. So rather than going that route, I chose to pick up my most recent purchase, which was Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I bought this about a week ago doing Christmas. I was out Christmas shopping and I bought myself a Christmas gift so kind of works but I'm reading this also for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's book club for her Patreon. I just kind of went with this one because I literally have zero idea. I think most everything I have is stuff that I've bought myself but I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not completely sure but I couldn't come up with anything that like jumped out at me that was a gift. And this one it is. The next challenge is to read while eating or drinking your favorite holiday treat and for that I chose the 10th book in the Creep Over series which is It's All Downhill From Here. This series is by PJ Knight. They are typically like creepy sleepover books, hence the creepover. I have the first 13 books in this series. I think I've only read up to five. They're not the same characters so they don't have to be read in chronological order. I chose this one just because it has like a ghost and snow and a mansion on the cover and they're quick reads so I figured this would be something I could get through pretty easily. I do enjoy these books for the most part so I mean I figured it was a good for a readathon and it had snow on the cover so it would work. The next challenge is to read a book title that is related to music and for that I chose In the Key of Niragani by Natasha Dean. This book follows a girl who is the daughter of immigrants who want her to basically aspire to be like a doctor or a lawyer or something that is seen as very prestigious in the United States and in other countries as well and she rather would be a musician and music really calls to her and speaks to her and this book is basically her trying to um, show her parents how much music really means to her and how important it is to her life. Again this was a book that I was supposed to read for another readathon this year and did not read. It was recommended to me by Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany and so I'm gonna try to read it this week. And the final read is the buddy read which is 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston which I do not have a copy of yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that from the library or if I'm gonna have to purchase a copy sometime this week or I think the ebook is on Hoopla. Maybe. So I have to do some research so that I can figure that one out. Um, 10 Blind Dates is essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's about a girl who is set up by her family to go on 10 blind dates during the Christmas season 
and sounds really fun so I'm super excited to get to that one as well. So there you have most of the books for my Tis the Seas-a-thon, read -a I don't know that I'm gonna get to all of these. If you again have been here before you know that I've been reading about two books a month in the past four or five months. Um, just with my sister and my niece here and with everything going on with that. However, um, if you missed my update, uh, my sister is doing much better and is actually has moved back home at this point and is going to start work next week. Um, so it may be interesting, but for the most part, my life at least has gone mostly back to normal. So hopefully I'll be able to get through some books this month because one of the next videos you'll see is a TBR for the fantasy of on. So hey, I'm trying to kill it in December and catch up with all the books that I didn't get to the last four months. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!